Hi, I'm Peyton Hoig, the Spiritual Communities Director for the Center for Spirituality and Nature. I'm here at Oak Springs, a trail near my home in Southern California. And typically this area is golden and brown and dry. But as you can see, just looking at the hills behind me, after days and weeks of rain in Southern California, the world has come to life. Just walking on the trail, I started to think of something that Wendell Berry said in one of his poems when he shared that we should practice resurrection. And looking around me, and it's so clear that the world demonstrates that for us. This region has been struck with severe drought, but when given just a little bit of the nourishment of rain, the ecosystem responds. It blossoms, it issues sweet fragrance. If I'm quiet, you can hear the stream that's burst back to life in the distance. And you can hear the songs of birds and wildlife rustling in the brush. What does it look like for us to practice that same sort of resurrection? To learn from the resilience of nature, to take in nourishment and give back abundantly. How might you practice resurrection in your life? And what nourishment do you need to do so? This year, I hope that you'll have an opportunity to get out into our beautiful and wonderful world and practice resurrection and share life with your community.